Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you my recital recording setup. My final master's recital is on April 30th, which is next Friday, if you're watching this the day that it goes up, at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I am so excited to share it with all of you. I'm playing some really, really great viola music. So I've received a few requests to show my recording equipment and what I use for my lessons and classes and all of that. So this will be like a nice overview of this equipment and where I bought it. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. I run the blog Life from the Viola section where I share general advice and practice tips and my favorite tech for musicians. I also post videos here on YouTube every Sunday at noon Eastern time. So I've changed out of my recital dress even though I was just recording. I do like to save like the big reveal of my dress until the recital. So minus the recital dress, this is what it looks like when I play. Yeah. That's the setup and I'm also using my phone camera which you'll see once I do the overview over here so you can see what that looks like now if I play <laughs> So that's what it's gonna look like next Friday. <laughs> so this is what it looks like from where I stand. This is my music stand, my viola is down here. I have a light and a soft box. This tripod is where the camera goes, but I'm, you know, showing you the setup through it right now. My nice mics. My phone on a tripod on a stand. <laughs> Interface. And I'm recording the mic audio on Audacity. For my music, I have a set list on Fourscore. So it's called Master Recital 21, as all of my pieces. And I just use my pedal to turn the page and it automatically goes to the next piece. So everything is nice and in order. This is my interface. It is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. It has two ports, four microphones, so like left microphone and right microphone. You can adjust the gain with these knobs and I don't really pay attention to the rest of them. <laughs> it has a USB-C port in the back that connects to USB-A and my laptop and I record using Audacity. So to record in Audacity, first make sure that the correct microphone is selected. So for me, that's Scarlett 2i2. It should be the name of your interface if you're using one. Then I just press record and you can see it's going. So you can see it's recording. I'm not really standing close enough to the mic for it to pick up much, but that's an overview of what that looks like. And of course my camera, it's a Panasonic GH5. And I do use a Rode microphone on top, but I'm not using that for recording. I just always keep it plugged in. Then that's on a tripod. This is a nice light in a soft box. We bought the light with the camera that I use on Facebook Marketplace and the soft box is from Amazon. Links for everything will be down below and the Amazon links are affiliate links. So if you make a purchase through one of my Amazon links, I might receive a small commission, but you know, if you don't like that, just search for the products on Amazon and you'll be good. Okay, on to the light and the soft box. So pretty bright. This is the back. It's not super pretty. This is the battery for the light. This is the power button. To turn it on and off. And this is where we have all of the controls. So the button on the top left shows you what percent the battery's at. So this is at 90% right now. Find or course right here shows you if you're going to adjust by ones or by tens. So the power button is also a dial to adjust how bright or how dim the light is. And the last button is switching between the yellow light and the white light. So they can be at different levels. And this is how the light looks without the soft box. I'll turn it on so you can see just how bright and blinding it is. <laughs> It's hard to tell what it's looking like on camera, but it is so bright. Like I cannot even look at it with my bare eyes. <laughs> so this is what the soft box looks like, not, you know, on the tripod on the light. So it has these Velcro strips and you use them to keep the light in place. And then it all breaks down and can be folded into like a little circle. <laughs> all right, I know that was a pretty quick overview, 
but that's what my recital recording looks like. I hope you are excited to watch my recital. It's going to be on April 30th. It's a Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I do have a Facebook event for my recital. I'll link it in the description box below. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you have any other questions about my recording setup or any of the equipment that I use, please leave it in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer it or make more videos depending on your questions. Please subscribe if you'd like more musical content. I post videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.